here with Kellen Taylor. Uh, in our preview and let's run, your coach spoke very highly of you. Um, you know, he, he said you're a natural for the marathon. Do you feel that's the case? I mean, you were a 1500 5K runner. Now you're running 26.2. Um, I mean, I wouldn't have originally said that, um, but after doing all, both my build-ups, Houston and this one, um, and actually racing, you know, the 26.2 mile race, I do, I do feel that way. I think that I've kind of found my niche. I think that. If you'd asked me five years ago, I would have said, no way, I'm not going to ever run a marathon. I'm going to run the mile. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I love it. I love the training that it takes, and, you know, I love the race. You've got a 228 PR in your debut, right? How has this training cycle gone? And You know, I, I know it's going to be hot, but if this was good good weather, what do you think you could run in terms of time? Um, my cycle was great. Um, it was better than Houston, so... I mean, I, I don't know. My, well, the training that we did was geared towards 225. Um, so, you know, I think that's probably what I could have ran, maybe a touch faster. So there's apparently some guy that you trained with who went, actually ran a 225, and you drop him in practice. Who is that? And tell us about how often you ever work out with this guy. His name is uh, Thomas Rivers Posey, and he uh, comes and helps pace me sometimes. He's a great guy. Um, yeah, I mean, he just comes here and there. He's a kind of an ultra guy, and he'll help me out. You know, during some some of my longer workouts, and it's awesome. But to see him run 225, does that give you confidence? Like, hey, I work out with him all the time. Oh yeah, it certainly helps. Um, I mean, that was very nice of him to say. Um, if that's the case, I I honestly don't know. Um, I don't know if the race is going to go that fast, but if it does, I think that I'm ready to run it. So. And what about hot weather? Obviously, it's going to be hot. How have you historically handled the heat? Um, I don't know if I have a whole lot of uh, race experience in the heat, but we have been down at San in San Diego for the last two weeks, um, and science says it takes two weeks to acclimatize, and I think that, you know, we've been there two weeks, we've been wearing coats, we've been wearing long sleeves, tights for all of our runs at 10 a.m. Um, I think it's going to feel great, maybe even cold. Yeah. So when you go down to San Diego, like you've got a daughter, does she come with you or does she stay in she Arizona? Stay at home. Yeah. yeah, she has school, so um, oh, I guess she, can, she can come with. But Grandma went and stayed with her, so it worked out well. So is she excited about the Olympic trials, or is she not quite? How old is she now? Five or six? She's five. Yeah. Um, she probably knows it's a big she, race, she right? Kind of gets it. The only reason she gets it though is because she watched the Gabby Douglas story and like how she made the Olympics. <laughs> She knows that it's a big deal, and she knows that this is my job, and that this is a really, really big race. So I think she'll be excited. Yeah. She watching on TV, or is she here? She's coming. Yeah, they actually should be here soon. So she'll be cheering. That'll give me a little boost every, you know, twice every week. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you.